Let's break down the specs. The Mac Mini, which has been my main machine for the last 8 years, was equipped with an Intel quad core i7 2.6GHz processor, a 16GB RAM, and 256GB of SSD. The M1 MacBook Pro, which I've just upgraded to, has an Apple M1 processor, 16GB of RAM, and a 256GB SSD. The specs for both are very similar, apart from the processor, but that's enough. As the Geekbench scores show, the M1 MacBook having more than doubled the single core and multi core scores of my Mac Mini. In terms of ports, the Mac Mini came with an abundant amount of ports, none of which exist on the MacBook Pro, which forgoes the old for the new, with just two USB C ports and an audio out. Compared to the Mac Mini, the flexibility of using a laptop compared to a standalone desktop is obvious. But at the time, and even to this day, the Mac Mini is the cheapest way to enter the Mac ecosystem, providing the best bang for buck system Apple has to offer. The screen for the M1 MacBook puts my dated Dell monitor to shame. I appreciate the screen's real estate, however, of a 27 inch monitor, even if the quality is lackluster in comparison. My late 2012 Mac Mini was also the last Mac Mini to have a removable base to allow me to upgrade the RAM myself, saving on the overhead on purchasing RAM upgrades from Apple. In terms of software, the 2012 Mac Mini will no longer support Apple's latest OS, Big Sur, yet the Mac Mini for now has the benefit of being compatible with more third-party Mac software due to its Intel processor. Though that will change over time, with applications slowly transitioning over to being native to M1. Overall, the upgrade from the Mac Mini to M1 MacBook was driven by my need for faster performance and the flexibility of being able to take something on the go, and needing that now rather than later. And that really is the most important reason to upgrade. If you need it now, buy it now, within reason of course. If an upgrade is coming within a month, it may be worth holding on. But overall, technology is always upgrading, always improving. And if you keep holding out for the next latest and greatest, well, you'll never upgrade.